Home Health Care, the industry leader with over 30 years of experience in providing home health care services such as skilled nursing, physical and occupational therapy, home health aids, and other specialized care to your homes throughout the state. Please tune in every other week as we bring you a range of good information from specialists in the field to help make you more informed and living healthy. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. You're listening to your hometown health show. I'm Yolanda Santana, host for your show this evening. And this evening, we also have as our special guest, Dr. John Aker, owner, Aker Caston Home Health Care. Did I say that right? You said it right. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, this, this show is sponsored by Trilogy uh, Home Health Care, and from Trilogy, we have Jennifer Smith. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. For, for our viewers and listeners, we are on 95.3 FM, 96.9, and 103.9 FM, as well as 1470 AM. You can also catch us on Amp2 TV, Amp2.TV. And uh, again, welcome and good evening. How are you? I'm well, and I'm glad to be with you both. We're happy to have you. Absolutely. So just to start off, we're going to have a, a little summary of what Trilogy does. And Jennifer, if you could please let our listeners know. Happy to. Um, I think as you heard in the opening, we are a Medicare certified home health agency. And we do provide services um, from Broward all the way up, almost the entire state of Florida, providing Medicare services, skilled nursing, psych nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, Um we have some specialty programs, um, pelvic floor, which helps with incontinence. Um, we do, I know in Broward, offer respiratory therapy and dietary services. And um, a new payment system just rolled out. It's called PDGM, which is very foreign to a lot of people. But in our world, um, just know that if um, some you know what you're with another home health and they may be backing out of some services just know that trilogy it's business as usual we're actually hiring staff to be able to provide care and we're here for you um all the time wonderful well dr john could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do you know i am a, a former career military officer and during that time period i had the privilege of being associated with four major uh, military hospitals, uh, Walter Reed in Washington, D.C., Brook Army Medical Center in Texas, uh, Fourth Combat Support Hospital, and then Noble Army Hospital. So I've spent a lot of time in and around hospitals. My brother, also a career military officer, a West Point graduate, was sent to medical school by the Army. And we've always had the dream of doing something together. And years ago, when my mother had a series of strokes, we were really pressed, uh, and we really didn't find anyone that we felt comfortable trusting mom to. And so my wife and I took care of her, and that, you know, gave way to the thought, maybe this is something my brother and I could do. He's a surgeon here in town, and uh, so we are really an outgrowth of AcreCast and Eye Center. And so we established 13 years ago AcreCast and Home Health Care Agency, and it's private duty, and we have the privilege of working with... Uh, some very great Medicare agencies, and most recently with Trilogy. And I have to say this because I'm looking at Jennifer's button that says Trilogy, and the only real association I had with Trilogy before meeting Jennifer is a great sailing vessel off Hawaii, which was a catamaran that I had the privilege <laughs> of being on. So I think of Trilogy, and somehow my mind goes back to Hawaii just a bit. Anyway, so that's what we do at Acure Casting. We're, we're private duty. We don't sail boats. We take care of people who are chronically and terminally ill. Okay. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the services you provide? Yes, we provide both unskilled and skilled care. And unskilled, we're concerned with the um, the personal hygiene, and uh, most of our people are at the uh, entrance level to nursing care, uh, are people who work for us. So we take care of people in terms of their personal hygiene and their personal needs. We deal with uh, a great deal with uh, issues of incontinence, of balance, of people who are fall risk that falls all under the and assistance with medication that falls all under the category of unskilled but we also do skilled nursing with we have a team of our of our own nurses and uh, many times there are people whose medicaid medicare benefits have run out and they still prefer to continue care and that can either be unskilled or skilled and that's where we step in all right if a family was interested in hiring a private duty company, what sets you apart from other agencies? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. 
If a family was interested in hiring a private duty company, what sets you apart from other agencies? You know, I think really it's our nursing staff and our nursing services because I am absolutely confident I can say this, that we are the only agency in Florida that does not charge for its nursing services. So um, with every case that we take on, we have either home health aid or a certified nursing assistant. Some cases have LPNs, but we have a staff of nurses. So every case has a nurse supervisor assigned to it, and that nurse becomes a, a support for that person, but also does case management for the patients, and we don't charge for that. So if wow. a patient, we're going to set up appointments and follow through with patients. We feel that if we're stepping in in the place of family to care for someone, we want it to be total care. So if Mrs. Brown becomes sick and doesn't feel like going to the dentist, she can call us and one of our nurses will go run the vitals and she may say, you know, I think we should contact your primary care or she'll say, I'm going to check back tomorrow and we'll see what's going on tomorrow. So we don't charge for that. We don't charge for nurse escorts uh, when uh, someone no, is going to a mm -hmm. primary care physician. And the family, for the most part, are in some distant location, a lot from where you're from up northeast, mm -hmm. uh, some from the Midwest. And so they appreciate the fact that we go and then a nurse will call the family and let them know about that appointment. And of course, we do the medication management as well, which in the state of Florida can only be done by a family member or a nurse. Mm -hmm. So the aides are not allowed to do it. So that sets us apart in that. We also are very careful realizing that family comes in. It's not always convenient for them. So we offer a courtesy transportation to and from the airport for family members when they come in. But I think the greatest thing, um, and this sometimes bothers people, but one of the things my brother and I learned in the military is that no matter how high you get in rank, there's a point at which there is no point at which you're not accountable to somebody. And we learned that. And uh, so we've come to the conclusion, we say this in our brochure, and we want people to know that we're not a religious organization, but we believe that everyone is made in the image and likeness of God, and we feel that we're going to be held accountable to God for the way we treat people. And we want people to know that without thinking them thinking that we're going to come in and convert them. You know, the acre cast and the acres happen to be Christian people. The, the castans are Holocaust survivors. So our family comes together with a neat understanding of most of the population in southern Florida. And there's no, no effort on our part to sway people one way or the other. But we also know that that accountability makes us just a little bit more concerned about what we're doing and whether we're really doing the things that we promised to do. You know, for the nursing aspect, I think it's crucial because today, you know, your clients are going out to these doctor's appointments. They don't necessarily remember everything that's going on. I know that even sometimes, you know, my husband may go to the doctor and I ask him what happened. I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? You, you need to know what goes on at the doctor's appointment. And it's really crucial, especially for your clients who are aged and have multiple diagnosis and multiple co comorbidities for them to have a nurse that's sitting there listening, obviously with permission, and can report back to their family members of what's going on. Or maybe if they live in a, a community to be able to report back to their you know, other specialists or to the facility to say back to the director of nursing, this is what happened at this appointment. And it's going to help prevent rehospitalizations, obviously, and communicate back to the family who is out of state because a lot of the family members do not live locally. So that's a huge testament to you providing that, not charging them, but providing that as a service as well. And sometimes just coordinating appointments because, you know, the medical community does not always communicate with one another. No. And so when we have a nurse, because the patients have, you know, a given nurse, and we divide our patients under all of the nurses that we have on staff, so that nurse is able to go to different doctors and say, <coughs> by the way, here's the med list, and occasionally to say, well, the doctors prescribed this, and it's sort of contraindicated. Mm -hmm. So there's a great deal to be gained by that. Absolutely. So I think that's, Yolanda, I think that's one of the big advantages, but I also think the matter of accountability is an important one. I think so too, and I, I don't equate it to necessarily like a religious thing. I think that it just shows that at the end of the day, you ultimately care about what's happening to your clients, and you can go to bed at night putting your head down and knowing you have done everything that you can to truly care for your clients, and it attests to your partners that look, we're doing everything we can for our clients. And that's one of the reasons that Trilogy wanted to work with you um, up here in Palm Beach. Right. So, because we have the same We share feelings. those ideals. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So why and when might someone need to consider hiring private duty? You know, there are times when older people, and, and sometimes not so old, people realize that they're beginning to fail. And many realize it and don't admit it. When they admit it, typically they'll contact someone looking for help in the home. But there are also times when uh, the family will notice it. And so it will be adult children who will call, and I'm concerned about my mother who's living alone in Boca or in Boynton, and these are the concerns I have. Can you help me with that? So either the patient or the family recognizes that there's a change. But many times it's an agency such as Trilogy that, you know, they're, you know, they're, they are basically concerned with visits, and we're concerned with hours in the sense that we're going to be there just a bit longer <coughs> because they have restraints with Medicare that we mm -hmm. don't face. And so we can get a contact from someone in Trilogy saying, you know, we're just finishing up with a patient, but this patient feels the need for more care, or we feel this patient can benefit from more care, and then we step in. And at that point, the thing about working with Trilogy is that their nurses are willing to talk to our nurses. Again, in so many situations, you have a Medicare agency and you have a private duty agency, and they're not communicating with one another. And I love it that my nurses will speak with nurses from Trilogy. And as a matter of fact, that's how the relationship began with AcreCast and Trilogy, nurses talking to one another and helping with cases. That's wonderful. I mean, it, it brings everybody together mm -hmm. and it just elevates the service in the community. Yeah. yeah, it has to work like that or what's the point? On that note, we're going to take a brief commercial break and we'll be right back. Trilogy was established in 2016 by industry experts with over 30 years in home health care operations spanning 30-plus counties throughout the state of Florida. With offices in Jacksonville, Port St. Lucie, West Palm Beach, we strive to provide the most optimal care to our patients in a fun, forward-thinking environment. Our focus is on personal relationships, whether with an employee, a patient, or an outside community. Because we know that when people enjoy what they do, it becomes why they do it. Call Trilogy today at 954-689-6660 and ask for more information. In addition to offering the standard mix of services, SN, PT, OT, Speech, MSW, and HHA, we also take great pride in being on the cutting edge and offering care and education to our licensed clinicians in other areas most agencies likely don't offer, emotional and behavioral health with our psych nursing, biofeedback for bladder incontinence and pelvic pain, chemotherapy, IV hydration, antibiotic and respiratory therapy. Call today at 954-689-6660, Trilogy Home Care. You have been listening to the Trilogy Home Health Show, and if you wish to be a guest on our show, please call us at 561-670-9213 and let us share your knowledge and information with our listeners. Trilogy Home Health Care Show enjoys serving the community and bringing doctors and facilities of interest to help educate and inform the community. Please call us at 561-670-9213 and let us put you on the airwaves with the Trilogy Home Health Show. Welcome back. I'm Yolanda, your host. Uh, you're listening to your Hometown Health Show. Our special guest tonight is uh, Dr. John Aker. And we also have Jen from Trilogy Home Health. Um, so we were talking a little bit about um, your company. And we, I, I wanted to go back and have you tell us a little, about, a little bit about more about the service area that you cover and how long you've been in business. Okay. We're licensed only for Palm Beach County. And that was a choice. And, of course, there were m different moratorium in the state for different areas. But Palm Beach County is enough. So we do all of Palm Beach County. But we concentrate primarily on Boca, Boynton, Bo Boca Delray, Boynton Beach, uh, Lantana, Wellington. We have a couple up in Palm Beach itself. But that's quite a drive because we're mm -hmm. located in Boca. But it's all of Bo uh, Palm Beach County. And we're in business 13 years. We're an offshoot of Acre Cast and Eye Center, which has been here about 35 years. Goodness. No. Okay. I understand your agency is ACHC accredited. Can you tell our listeners what that means? Yes. ACHC stands for the Accreditation Commission for Healthcare. And we came to a place where we recognized as an, as an agency that we had committed to standards that were above what ACA, the, uh, uh, the state agency, was asking of its 
agencies. And because of that, we wanted to willingly submit ourselves to an agency that would hold us to a higher standard. And ACHC does that. They are really uh, very strict. They're, uh, they go by the book, and they come in and, come in and do an, uh, a, a, an inspection or a survey. It really gets the staff <laughs> on their toes. Yes. <laughs> it, can, it can be a stretch and a half. But it's good because then you see some of the weaknesses you have. And uh, they don't come to fail you. It's like, you know, someone's taking a swimming test in the pool. They want to see you make it. And so, but they want to make sure that you can do it on your own. So we've appreciated them, and we've been with them uh, probably about six years now, and we enjoy that association. Mm -hmm. It holds that's you to a, a higher standard, which is great. Yeah, and that's a that's a good way. Uh, you know, a, a lot of patients probably are looking for that. They want mm -hmm. an agency that has holds themselves to a higher standard. Yep. So tell me a little bit about the tenure of your staff. Okay. Well, we have. Um, 11 people that are in the office and that's pretty much our leadership and we have um, 170 on our roster for the field but we have about 135 people working regularly most of those full-time at any given time and uh, our administrative office the we're 13 years old but the average uh, stay is about nine years right now which we think is pretty good mm -hmm. and the last time my uh Chief Financial Officer gave me the statistics on um, how what our retention rate is. He said it's about 74%. And one of the things that Jennifer can tell you about that presents a real challenge to all agencies, Medicare as well as private duty, is the shortage of people. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very difficult now. Yes. It becomes very, very, very competitive among agencies, and you continually try to find out how you can offer more to your staff to try to bring them on. We just had a workshop last week to deal with that, and we think we're going to be offering some things that are very exciting as we try to draw people, because you want to inculcate loyalty. And I don't want to make this too long, but before the changes that took place in 2015 under the Obama administration, the Department of Labor took the people that were involved in home health care, and they had been really considered exempt. They were independent contractors but they were suddenly going to be classified as employees mm -hmm. or um, yeah, employees. And, and so that presented a challenge because now you're held accountable for social security, for taxes, for workers comp, for liability insurance, offering a health plan. And that's become very, very difficult. And some agencies were forced out. So we want to be able to excel in that competitive market. And so we're adding, we're putting together an ad right now to re a recruitment ad because we want to draw more people into us. But basically, when people come to us, we make it clear. If you're looking for a job, you're not the people we're looking for. We are truly looking for people who want to improve the life of another individual. That's a rare commodity. Yep, it really is. And it's in anyone in healthcare, honestly, because you get people that'll walk in and they're just looking for you know, the most money, well, then you shouldn't be here because if you don't actually care about the people that you're taking care of, you should not be in healthcare at all, period. Because yeah. you have to think about if you're taking care of, you would want to take care of someone the way that you would want them to take care of your loved one. Right. Uh, and that's something we, we often say, you know, um, are you able to take care of my mother? Now, of course, my mother's gone, but I want them to know if they're not able to take care of my mother, they can't take care of my people. And sometimes... Patients can be hard on the caregivers. Mm -hmm. And I have to say to the patients, would you treat my daughter that way? <clears throat> Please don't treat these dear women that way. Because many of them become like sisters and daughters mm -hmm. to me. Um, when I talk about the, the office uh, tenure, you know, that, our office consists of um, our financial people, our nursing staff, and our schedulers. And I cannot say enough good about them. Mm -hmm. Because they're part of the reason. When you have a 74 or 70% uh, you know, retention rate, that says a lot, and we try to encourage some of our people, you know, when they come to us, and they're really sharp young people, and they're getting, you know, we're above the minimum wage, but it's not a lot of money. And you say to them, you know, have you thought of becoming an LPN? Have you thought of becoming an RN? And what's really good is that these were people that we said, you know, that we spoke to when they first came to us. And since then, since I've written letters of recommendation to these young ladies that are now RNs and working in different fields, and some of them are working for Acre Caston, but they started out mm -hmm. as home health aides, and that's part of it. I really, I can't say enough good about, you know, most of these ladies that work for us. It sounds like a wonderful, it must be a wonderful place to work if they've, you know, stay on, your retention rate is so high. 
I'm going to jump ahead. Who pays for private duty and services when services are needed? Sorry. Well, private duty, unlike the, you know, the Medicare situation, private duty is paid for by the patient and client, either as a direct private pay. Some of those are fortunate enough to have thought years ago about long-term insurance, so they have a long-term insurance policy. But again, what they paid for years ago was a policy that was, you know, so much, and it doesn't cover as much now. But so long-term insurance, Yolanda, you're a young woman, but if you don't have long-term <laughs> insurance, now is the time to get it. You know, I can't get it. I'm too old. You know, but uh, so we have the private to, private pay where they pay directly, or the long term insurance, and sometimes there's a copay with that, depending on what their limit is, and then there is um, you know the veterans benefits. Mm -hmm. So we work a lot with uh, a particular group that helps veterans get their benefits, and we want to work with groups that don't charge the veterans. You Let know. me ask you this: Do all veterans get those benefits? You no, know, not really, um, because even with my 20 years, my benefits are, are greatly limited, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of it has to do, they look at what your present salary is and so forth. Mm -hmm. They're entitled to it. Right now, the ones that are at the top of the list are, and now there are only a few left, but we've had them, the, some of the Second World War veterans. Yeah. All right, next group is going to be Korea and the Vietnam, but we have people in those categories, um, and, but, you know, the people, you know, everyone that's, in, that's looking for home health or to see whether or not they have benefits through the Veterans Association. Yeah, they just had to have served um, during active wartime, and it's not necessarily being in battle. It's just served during that active wartime. During time. that time. I have a little card that I can share with you after the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before we run out of time, how can someone get a hold of you? Mm -hmm. Well, Acre Caston is located in Boca, and uh, we've just moved to our own building at 939 Clintmore. But the best number is, it's a very simple one, 561-955-6010. And I want to say that one more time because that's a good thing to do when you're on the year. Yes. 561-955-6010. Perfect. And your website? Our website is um, www.ak home health. But if you look up Acre Caston Home Health, it'll come right up. Yep, just Google that's it. That's right there. That's how I Acre found Caston. it. <laughs> Perfect. Now, if you could explain uh, how you would work with Trilogy, if you have an example. Why don't you do that first? Um, a lot of times, you know, our, um, well, our, our home health care coordinator, Stephanie, actually works as the um, coordinator that works with them specifically. Um, if she has a client, which, you know, does happen, that happens to live in the Palm Beach area, she, she will meet with um, the patient of ours that, um, and she meets bedside, will determine if there is an additional need for private duty services. A lot of times they think that our home health aid can provide um, some light housekeeping, um, some meal preparation, you know, those additional services. And unfortunately, Medicare says, no, you can provide a bath. And the bath, you know, visit is literally however long it takes to provide that bath. And you know, they only want us there two to three times a week at max. So she will explain that, you know, unfortunately, Medicare will only provide this. And then she will ask them, you know, have you considered, you know, hiring private duty? And she will go in to explain a little bit about it. And she will, you know, always offer um, to prime, prefer to have them call the patient or the family member, because that's usually how you get them to yeah, Use Steph the services. Stephanie will give us a call on that regard. But the big thing is, once that contact is made, the ability of the two agencies to work together, not competing, but still yeah. working for the good of that patient. And that is built on communication, trust, um, and we appreciate that opportunity. Yeah. And vice Trillion versa. Been good to us. Perfect. All right. Is there anything, any last comments you want to leave our, our listeners and viewers with? No, I, th I find home health to be, you know, highly competitive, but I delight in telling my people about my military service, and this kind of work is service, and it's truly noble, and we have to let the caregivers know that so they respect themselves and what they do, but we also have to let the patients know that, that it's a noble thing that's being done. Wonderful, perfect. Okay, so um, it's been such a pleasure having you here. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, Jen. You, uh, Thanks, Jen, for the invitation. Thank you, Lilanda. We enjoyed having you. You've been listening to your hometown health show. I'm Yolanda Santana, uh, IT consultant for All Bits Tech. This has uh, been a wonderful evening, wonderful pleasure. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again. Have Thanks a great coming. evening.
Trilogy Home Health Care invites you to call our offices before making a decision about your home health and rehabilitative care. Different from other agencies, Trilogy offers specialized service that other agencies don't, providing exceptional care. That's who we are and what we do. Call us at 866-599-4959 or go to TrilogyHomeHealthCare.com. The opinions expressed on